In this problem, we're being asked to determine if these ordered pairs are solutions to an inequality. And this is the inequality we want to know about. An ordered pair is two numbers with a comma in between them. And the first number represents x, and the second number represents y. So if we want to find out whether it's a solution, what we need to do is take the x value and the y value and plug them in for x and y in this inequality and see if the inequality ends up being true when we do that. Let me show you how that works. In this one, y is negative 35. So instead of y here, I'm going to write negative 35. And then the next thing we have is a greater than sign. And then we have negative 6 times x. But instead of x, I'm going to put in the 6 here, which is the value for x in that ordered pair. And then we have a plus 5. So this is this inequality with these two values plugged in for the x and y. So let's, let's calculate the rest of this and see what we get. Here we have negative 35 greater than. Negative 6 times 6 is negative 36 and plus 5. Well, what's negative 36 plus 5? That is negative 31. So the question is, is negative 35 greater than negative 31? The answer is no. Even though this number 35 is bigger than the number 31, these are negative values. So if you look at them on a number line, negative 35 is going to be here, and negative 31 is going to be here. Zero is way, way up that way. So this is more negative, which means it's less than, not greater than. So this is not a solution. To get the answers to the rest of these, we have to do the same thing, just plug in the x and y. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, y here is a positive 35. And we have greater than and negative 6 times a negative 5 for x plus 5. So 35 greater than. And a negative times a negative here is going to be a positive. And 6 times 5 is 30 plus 5. Oh, look at that. So this says 35 is greater than 35. Is it? Well, no. 35 equals 35. It's not greater than itself. So that one's not a solution either. Let's try this next one, 4 and negative 14. So negative 14 for the y, and then negative 6 times 4 for the x, and then a plus 5. So here we have negative 14 greater than, and negative 6 times 4 is negative 24 plus 5. So what's negative 24 plus 5? Well, that's negative 19. So the question is, is negative 14 greater than negative 19? And this time, the answer is yes. The number 14 is smaller than the number 19, but these are negative numbers, so things are reversed. So negative 14 is to the right on the number line, so it's greater. So this inequality is true, which means those numbers, this ordered pair, is a solution. So we check yes. All right, we've got one more, 55 for y and negative 9 for x. So negative 6 times negative 9 plus 5. So 55, and here we've got a negative times a negative again. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 5. So this is 59. So is 55 greater than 59? Well, it's not. It's less than. So this is not a solution. So that is how to determine if an ordered pair is a solution to an inequality.